Colombo is the commercial capital and largest city of Sri Lanka by population. According to the Brookings Institution, Colombo metropolitan area has a population of 5.6 million and 752,993 in the city proper. It is the financial center of the island and a tourist destination. It is located on the west coast of the island and adjacent to the Greater Colombo area which includes Sri Jayawadinpura Kote, the legislative capital of Sri Lanka and Dahawala Mount Lavinia. Colombo is often referred to as the capital since Sri Jayawadinpura Kote is itself within the urban, suburban area of Colombo. It is also the administrative capital of the western province and the district capital of Colombo. District. Colombo is a busy and vibrant city with a mixture of modern life, colonial buildings and monuments. Due to its large harbor and its strategic position along the east-west sea trade routes, Colombo was known to ancient traders 2,000 years ago. It was made the capital of the island when Sri Lanka was ceded to the British Empire in 1815 and its status as capital was retained when the nation became independent in 1948. In 1978, when administrative functions were moved to Sri Jayawadinpura Kote, Colombo was designated as the commercial capital of Sri Lanka. Like many cities, Colombo's urban area extends well beyond the boundaries of a single local authority, encompassing other municipal and urban councils such as Sri Jayawadinpura Kote Municipal Council. Dehawala Mount Lavinia Municipal Council, Kolonawa Urban Council, Katawela Municipal Council and Kotikawit Mullariawa Pradeshia Sabha. The main city is home to a majority of Sri Lanka's corporate offices, restaurants and entertainment venues. Famous landmarks in Colombo include Gale Face Green, Vihara Mahadevi Park, Beira Lake, Colombo Racecourse, Planetarium, University of Colombo, Mount Lavinia Beach, Dehawala Zoological Garden. Nelam Pokuna Theatre, Colombo Lotus Tower as well as the National Museum. The name, Colombo, first introduced by the Portuguese in 1505, is believed to be derived from the classical Sinhala name Colin Thota, meaning, port on the river Kalani. Another belief is that the name is derived from the Sinhala name Kola Amba Thota which means, harbour with leafy, green mango trees. This coincides with Robert Knox's history of the island while he was a prisoner in Kandy. He writes that, on the west, the city of Colombo, so called from a tree the natives call Ambo, growing in that place, but this never bear fruit, but only leaves, which in their language is Kola and thence they called the tree Colombo, which the Christians in honor of Columbus turned to Colombo. The author of the oldest Sinhala grammar, Sadat Sangarava, written in the 13th century wrote about a category of words that exclusively belonged to early. Sinhala. It lists Naramba and Kolamba as deriving from the indigenous Veda language. Kolamba may also be the source of the name of the commercial capital Colombo. As Colombo possesses a natural harbor, it was known to Indian, Greek, Persian, Roman, Arab and Chinese traders over 2,000 years ago. Traveler Ibn Battuta who visited the island in the 14th century, referred to it as Kolanpu. Arabs, whose prime interests were trade began to settle in Colombo around the 8th century AD mostly because the port helped their business. By the way of controlling much of the trade between the Sinhalese kingdoms and the outside world, their descendants now comprise the local Sri Lankan Moor community. Portuguese explorers led by Dom Lourenco de Almeida first arrived in Sri Lanka in 1505. During their initial visit they made a treaty with the king of Kote, Parakramabahu VIII, which enabled them to trade in the island's crop of cinnamon which lay along with the coastal areas of the island, including in Colombo. As part of the treaty, the Portuguese were given full authority over the coastline in exchange for the promise of guarding the coast against invaders. They were allowed to establish a trading post in Colombo. Within a short time, however, they expelled the Muslim inhabitants of Colombo and began to build a fort in 1517. The Portuguese soon realized that control of Sri Lanka was necessary for the protection of their coastal establishments in India and they began to manipulate the rulers of the Kote Kingdom to gain control of the area. After skillfully exploiting rivalries within the royal family, they took control of a large area of the kingdom and the Sinhalese king Mayadun established a new kingdom at Sitawaka, a domain in the Kote Kingdom. Before long he annexed much of the Kote Kingdom and forced the Portuguese to retreat to Colombo, which was repeatedly besieged by Mayadun and the later kings of Sitawaka forcing them to seek reinforcement from their major base in Goa. 
India, following the fall of the kingdom in 1593. The Portuguese were able to establish complete control over the coastal area. With 